So people said if they had no. a chance, they would send me home. Wait, wait, wait. She needs to go back and buy tomorrow. Oh, is it fair left for me? You're boring me. It's funny how the greatest buzzbulls started on a very random note. Trust me to bring you the recap. So after party, Dami, Ruti, and Chinwe we are having normal banter between themselves on what happened when they were still in the house. And then Dami was concentrating on how everyone was so bitter and angry towards her that they decided to take her out in the first week, asking her, oh, like, what made, her, what made them do that? And Ruthie explaining to her that she even influenced it because when people wanted to, you know, take the streets out, she was like, oh, no, leave the streets out. Uh, dummy blah 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 you know stuff like that and then they were now having a sort of little argument between themselves you know Chin were trying to tell dummy that and remember that first week people were still trying to get to know each other and even OC at some point joined the conversation telling dummy that same way other people like other people that went in mentioned the name it was just a coincidence that your name happens to be the most mentioned and dami doubting that saying no that is not is something else but let's stop there i'll make a more detailed video on what they discussed but why they were having this little banter nelly suj anita and wani with tofa were in the kitchen cooking what they will eat and they were making some sort of you know background yeah, they will add maybe the drcs will say something and nelly them will laugh based on what they are arguing so at some point they started laughing at them and dami said see guys we are not quarreling no it's just banter i don't know why you guys are laughing no we're not like we are fighting each other because they were kind of laughing in a way that insinuates that oh so you guys are now fighting yourselves due to the banter uh chingwe the drcs we're having okay and dami saying that so then made a comment that I don't blame on her. Big brother, I don't give this one's drink. Dami heard that and then reached out to Suj saying, Suj, can I know what you just said now? Can you repeat what you just said now? Well, Ruti then said she does not care what they are laughing about. If they like, they can think that they are quarreling, but they should just know they're not quarreling. But all she has to say is that if you're in my bad book, if you're in my black book, better start packing your bags because you're leaving tomorrow. Pack your bags and be ready. I will watch you leave tomorrow. So she now raised her voice, pointing towards the kitchen and, say, and saying, uh, from Big Brother's house, straight to Cardona. So at this point, she was referring to Wani because Wani is the one, is the Cardona girl in the house. She now said again, from Biggie's house, straight to Abba, you only need 50 Biggie box. Better pack all your belongings tonight. We all know she's referring to Nelly at this point because Nelly is the one that resides in Abba or is from Abba. And because Wani and Nelly could hear them clearly, Wani then said, Oh, shut up, you bully, you ugly thing. Yes, I will go tomorrow, but come on, you left in week what? You left in week what? And then Nelly said, These people should respect Abba. Abba is a big city. And you know why they were saying that within them? Suj now said something else and Dami. Now said, Suj, I'm hearing your voice. You go call it too. And Osi then turned to Dami, saying, Dami, at this point, I think you're beginning to hear things because nobody said anything about you here. But if you want chaos, just do it instead of the whole back and forth because, you know, Dami could, will now move to the kitchen area telling Suj, what did you say? What did you say? You know, making noise. At this point, they now shifted from the lounge to the kitchen. Now, remember that O.C. was having the whole eviction, who evicted, who, who voted, who and who did not discussion with them. But you will see how it's all switched up in the next second. So now, when Dami told Suj the second time not to, that she does not want to hear his voice again, how would you say, oh, small drink, we big, give this one, so that do you know how many years I've been in the nightlife? And the Ruti then said, why are these guys even scared of coming to us and say this in our face? Why are they there murmuring? And then she started calling names. Nelly, I'm talking to you. Make sure you pack your bags. Wani, I'm talking to you. Make sure you pack your bag tomorrow. I will watch you leave. 
She then turned to Chinwe, telling Chinwe, I told you that these beats are so scared of me. It's the silence for me. They can't even talk. And Chinwe is saying, oh, it's the silence for me in this kitchen. Oh, it's the silence for me in this kitchen. Now, nobody wants to talk. Hypocrites. Would they even talk when they are busy making fake friendship? Somebody said, yo, A is poached. And yet, here you are, making friends with the first, pretending to be friends with that same person again. She now told Chinwe, imagine the fact that she and DJ Flo got evicted and Wani and Handy were having a conversa conversation saying, oh, if they had the opportunity, they would bring back DJ Flo and apologize to her. But that her roti, she deserves to be taken out. And then Tona said, B, I'm in your face now. Come and do it in my face now. I'm here now. Come and drag me out. Come and take me out. But you better pack your box or you're leaving tomorrow. And forget the fact that I'm reporting this individually. They were like talking at the same time. So the noise was so intense. You know, Dami was talking, Chime will be talking, Ruti. Everyone was so noisy that at some point, Dami even uh, turned to the kitchen and said, Tofa, I don't want to hear your voice. So you and your fake situationship, you and your mother and son situationship, better don't even say anything. And when he then turned to Nelly and the rest saying, honestly, I'm embarrassed. I'm even embarrassed that they are women. Imagine having a second chance and all you want to do is just bully people. Well, Ozzy then came to them, O.C. and Ozzy, okay? Because uh, they just Ozzy just got served a food and he dropped his egg. Coming back, he started looking for the egg. Now, he was asking them how about his eggs, who took his eggs. And O.C. was, at the same time, just close to the kitchen where they play their, they had, they play their snooker game. And O.C. then turned to them and said, you guys are boring you. If you want to fight, fight. What is all this back and forth going? That is so childish. Hey, this is where everything switched. Ruti said, how dare you tell us that uh, we are boring you? Nine weeks, what have you done in the house? Here, forming big brother, assistant big brother. Do you want to have your own show? That if, it's, if here is boring for you, then pack your things and go home. So at this point, Ruti then moved closer to Osi, warning him that, oh, you're saying we are boring. What have you done? If you were given, Big Brother will not see the need to bring them back again. And then Chin Wei then turned to OC, telling Ozzy, stay off this, that this is not your fight, this is not your issue. Nobody has a problem with you. You know, that they know the people that are talking to. You should just stay clear this one. And OC was like asking Chin Wei, why should I stay clear this one? Well, Chin Wei decided to give OC as well, telling OC, well, that you say we are acting, acting childish, and that's because we are kids, we are still a child. We can act our age, but you, big for nothing, a fool at 40 is what? A fool forever. So while Ruti and Chinwe were tackling Ozzy, Dami was tackling Ozzy. And Dami then told Ozzy, oh, what are you doing here? Maybe you should just go home. Old fool, Papa Lolo, you know, you're aged. What are you doing with children? And Ozzy then turned to Dami, telling Dami, you're fired. I don't know if you get the meaning of this. You're fired. So apparently... Dami came back to the house and informed them that she got she already got a job. You see why it's not even good to even to even overshare sometimes. Telling them that she now works in uh, in a space under their club, you know. And Ozzy actually was telling uh was later having this conversation with Ozzy later had this conversation with Ozzy, telling Ozzy, imagine that one that went out and got a job. That means you went back to your former life. But well, let me not divert. Let me not get to that extent. Let me continue with what I was saying. So now, Ozzy then told Dami, you're fired. And Dami said, why will I be bothered while I'm here with you? I'm here in the same space with my employer. Why should I be feeling anyhow? We are here hustling for the same money, <laughs> the same opportunity. If you were that big, what will you be doing here? If you had it all, what will you be doing here? Yes, I'm fired, but we are still in the same house. I'm a finalist. Are you even sure of staying to the end? And I'm like, girl, hold on. No. So let's take, for instance, this guy is the person you're working for. Or maybe you're working for someone that knows him or you never can tell. And you have the guts to go have this kind of confrontation one-on-one. -on -one. Ha! People, <laughs> people, they share. Well, so while Dami and Ozzy was dealing with that, Ruti and Ching also came to Dami's, you know, they were, they were all working hand in hand, simultaneously, giving it to everybody one after the other. 
OC, on hearing Ruthie saying she's a finalist, she will watch them leave, decided to take Ruthie to the picture stand and only for Ruthie to get there and yank off her picture together with that of Chinwe. You know, vexing, saying, oh, who are you? You that is big for nothing. You couldn't even carry a thread during the task. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point they now went deeper by even going to oh you know you're you're living off your family name blah 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 and Osi didn't find that funny Osi then reached out for a rod to hit Ruti and Big Brother had to tell them to freeze so when Osi reached out for that snooker stick uh, the likes of Ch uh, Nelly uh, Stofa, Suj they decided to come in like a kind of telling mode don't do this you know they don't watch this. But while they were still on freeze, Chimu was still giving it to them, saying, Oh, you are even a woman, a woman bitter. You reaching out for a stick shows that you are a woman bitter. And that is what you clearly just did now. For you to reach out for a stick over a word banter shows that you beat you, man. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know, they kept on beckering even while on Biggie's order and even while on Biggie's freeze. Even Ruthie was so anxious, saying, Oh, you want to beat me? You want to beat me? You say we are irritating you. If we are irritating you, go to your papa house. This is Biggie's house. You know, she was still bickering. Saying, I'm ready to collect a strike. I'm ready to collect a strike for anybody this night. Just come. Come touch me. Come do this. You know, you, you can tell they are willing to go any extent from what they were saying and their actions. And mind you, before OC reached out for it, that snooker stick, Ruthie was already telling him, oh, how he will beat him, how he will buy him, <laughs> that he's just big for nothing, that next time while working out, he should concentrate more on leg walks, that he's just big up, and even with the bigness, he couldn't even do anything with it. And while on freeze, Ruthie was still murmuring words like, you never know me, I go break bottle for your head. <laughs> well, Big Brother decided to freeze them for some minutes, and after that, the main katakata even continued but because this video is getting longer we'll continue that in the second video please do well to watch that